Hey everybody, it's Lauren and it is Thursday and I am at Yellowstone. How cool is that? You know, I've never really been there. If you've been there, tell me all about it because I want to go. Um, but I just thought that was really kind of cool. I'm not sure the chair fits well, but it's still cool. Anyway, I wanted to share with you two stories. Um, and maybe it will help you in your quest for the lowest mortgage rate, which you should have that quest for sure but um the first story was um uh, a woman that had worked with another lender uh, apparently they said they were a broker but they really weren't um and they gave her some information that may or may not have been um precise to, to say it that way so i'm sure they weren't trying to trick her. I don't think anybody tries to, but I do think that there's a difference between a company that does due diligence up front and a um, company that just throws you a prequal or a quote. And then in, when you're in the contract, everything kind of goes crazy. So you definitely want to avoid that. But anyway, long story short, she had gone to this lender. She called, apparently things were very strange that she was getting information that just didn't make sense and so she wanted a different lender so someone referred her to me thank you and so um, we chatted and uh i don't know half hour conversation and she was going to send over the loan estimate that they had sent her because i was going to try to match it or beat it anyway um the loan estimate never came and so i pinged her and said hey you know i just wanted to make sure i didn't miss an email um, didn't want to drop the ball. And she said, no, I found someone else that I'm going to go with. And thank you so much for your information. And I said, great, you know, no problem. That's what I'm here for. If you've got any questions, happy to answer them. And that, that always is, is the truth. Anytime you have a question, even if you don't use me. Um, and that was true in this case, but I did say, Hey, if anything goes awry, feel free to call me back. So go figure. Mm, two days, I think, oh, all right, it was three. Three days later, she calls me back and she said, okay, I wanna go with you because the other one who really was a broker, I guess gave her like three different answers to the same question. And she was starting to go, hmm, I'm not really sure I'm gonna get served well. I don't, I, that one I have no idea, but I was happy to help her out. So she is now with us and everything's perfect for her so, uh, so far. So we're, we're going to try to close her on time. We might be a little delayed because we've got to, you know, do a little extra stuff because we, they lost a little time. But that's an instance where you really want to be comfortable with the person that you're dealing with. So if it's, um, if you start asking questions about, not even rate, we'll get to that one in a second, but about process or fees or how does this work or what does this mean? Or if they're not explaining to you what, how how the mortgage process goes and affects you, I would suggest getting another broker personally. So story two, along the same lines. Um, I had a referral from a really great agent. Um, apparently this client was looking at a VA loan. Um, it was a jumbo loan. Um, doesn't matter for VA because they don't have a limit. Um, but apparently the, the, something was kind of funky and I guess they called this agent, friend of theirs, wasn't their agent, it was just a friend. And she said, you know what, call Lauren, she'll help you. And so I did. And so I got that call, I think it was uh, Tuesday, 7.30 at night. They sent all their docs, they were Johnny on the spot. So obviously if someone does that, I need to jump. So I did, got it done, got the prequel, perfect, done. Then I get a call um, that says, hey, I need the pre-call now, like get it now. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I'm trying to make this work and I don't want to make, I don't want to get you in a situation that you can't get out of. So I need to verify a couple things. So it's more like a pre-approval. So I did it. It was, we got it. Then it was, well, no, I want to go with a conventional loan because I had mentioned to them that that might be a better fit for them for what their specific needs were they were trying to conserve cash and their entitlement required a big huge chunk down so 
VA is great if you don't have to put any money down, but in their case, they had to put a lot down. If they had gone conventional, they could have saved a little bit of money. So I wanted to look at both. And sure enough, he said, okay, I think I want to look at that. And so I did. And I got him all the numbers. And then it was, well, your rates are really, really way far off than the rates we got a week and a half ago. And I thought, hmm, week and a half ago. Okay. So they ended up leaving. They're, they're no longer my client. But again, the door is always open if something um, you know, changes for them. I love to help them. My point to everyone is, if you are going to shop rate, God help you. <laughs> you have to, there's a couple things to know. Rate is only important when your loan officer has the entire picture. So if you call, say, Quicken, and they give you a rate, and you haven't given them any information, they don't know your goals, they don't know your situation, they don't even know anything about you, and they throw a rate at you, not a real rate, just saying. Rate is so important when you've got the whole picture, right? So you never know, even, I mean, there have been people that, that you know, they don't even know something's on their credit until you pull it and then you're in trouble. So you just quoted this rate. So it doesn't work like, that. I don't think it works like that. But yes, you could call Quicken or get online or see an advertisement and say, oh, well, I want that rate. Well, great, but you don't know the entire situation around that rate. The other thing I wanna say is rate's important, but not as important as service. So nothing is worse than having the best rate in the world, locked and loaded, but you can't close your loan because your loan officer didn't do their work. And it's not that they don't work, maybe they just haven't, they don't know how to uh, turn the Rubik's Cube, so to speak, right? So I guess I say that to you is because right now we're in this massive refi boom. Rates are incredible. They really, really are. And so everybody's talking about 2.89, 2.87, two whatever, right? Make sure that you know the difference between a 2.89 and a 2.87, because sometimes it's about 50 cents. Just saying, just depends on the loan amount. But if you ever need a loan calculator, you can go to my website, laurenfisco.com. There's under resources, click calculators. There's nine of them. Why nine, you say? Well, because you might wanna know different calculations. You, sometimes it's not just about monthly payment. Maybe you wanna reduce your payment and take half of your savings and throw it at your principal so you can pay your loan off and then guess what you don't care what the rate is because you don't have a loan yay anyway that was my long-winded rant about how clients are you know every client is different and and they're like fingerprints so it's so important that your loan officer knows your 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 financial situation your goals for your home do you want to pay it off? Do you want to sell it? Do you want to move? Do you want to rent it? That all matters. And so we can do these calculations that'll show you your mortgage freedom points, right? Like, so you're completely done with it or, you know, hey, is this closing cost worth it because I'm going to sell in three years and will I recoup the cost? Or, you know, should I refinance now or should I refinance later? So again, there's a, I did a video, you go in the playlist and this, this cost of waiting for refinancing. Sometimes if you wait six months, you just lost all the money you would have saved and now you're paying more. So anyway, long story short, I wish that all of you find the best rate you can get, but if you're gonna shop, shop the lenders at the same time on the same day because rates change daily. So if somebody gives you a quote from last week and now you're shopping me or anybody else this week, not the same thing. So make sure that it is apples to apples, not apples to oranges, yeah? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I um, really do wanna know about Yellowstone. It'd be really cool, because I know right now a lot of people are traveling in RVs, and I think that's so cool. What else are you gonna do? It's COVID. So have a great week, everybody. And um, if you have any questions at all, always here to answer them, whether you become my client, which I hope you do, or you don't. Take care. Bye.